Genius is not a term I use often, but here we have a great example of genius engineering. Alan Milliard, a name known by many in the custom motorcycle world, built this 2300cc Kawasaki V12, and it really is a piece to admire. This bike usually sits on our fifth floor with Milliard's other custom creations, but today it is in the warehouse, so let's take a look. Milliard is known for grafting additional cylinders to already powerful motorcycles. His V-Twin Honda 100, Kawasaki V8, and V10 are a few examples of the work he has done. The original idea was to graft two KZ1300 engines together and create something amazing. Milliard got a hold of two cases and was able to fit them together easy enough after cutting off the starter motor and assembly and relocating them to the front of the bike. Then he had to build a new crankshaft using a link rod system due to space restrictions and convert the whole thing to roller bearings. While fitting a set of throttle bodies from the Kawasaki 1300 Voyager, he had to retune the ECU and because points were being used for ignition, he had to create a stacked set of plates with three sets on each, all connected to one cam lobe. Truly a work of ingenuity. The exhaust is a 12 to 4 to 2, and Milliard had to modify the exhaust ports on the rear cylinder head to fit. In fact, you have to install the rear header before you can install the rear cylinder head due to spacing. The stroke is reduced from 71mm to 63mm using flywheel weights from Kawasaki's 750H2 triple. Milliard wanted to reduce stress in the engine and also have roller bearing crankshaft. The KZ1300 had some problems with its plane bearing crank and he didn't want to make it worse, so Milliard converted it all to roller bearings which also helps pump oil at low pressure. Creating the V12 was made difficult by the six-cylinder engine's lack of internal symmetry. Milliard states the rear head is cut and reversed and runs backwards, but this caused a nightmare because the KZ1300 cams and sprockets aren't in the middle of the engine, as they are in the KZ1000. The stud positions are slightly different and the cams are offset, so I had to cut away all the water passages and oil galleries, then remake them, plus the cam chain tensioner and new cam runs. Milliard made a cam chain from two heavy-duty high-vo chains welded together. Additionally, the frame had to be extended about four inches, which meant the tank had to be extended as well to meet proportions. A channel was also created under the tank to make room for the throttle bodies. The tank holds eight gallons of fuel, which it eats quickly at 15 miles per gallon. One of the greatest things about this bike is not simply the engineering, but the fact that Milliard makes these bikes look like original production pieces. No crazy paint job, no over-the-top body design. To me, that is the true genius about this bike. Milliard ironically shows great restraint and aesthetic design. In the end, the bike weighs in at 770 pounds, has roughly 250 horsepower, and a top speed of 100 miles per hour. If you get a chance, Milliard has a fantastic YouTube channel and I recommend you go and take a look. His link is in our bio.